I'm William Sheckle from the Chambers Rescue Channel, and today we're going to talk about how to convert your stove from propane to natural gas, or the other way around. If you've moved, or your stove moved, or you simply don't know what your stove was set up to be, it's not that hard to find out. Check my video about how to tell whether your stove is set up for propane or natural gas, then come back and watch this one so that you know how to convert it to the fuel you've got in your home. If you watch my video on how to tell if your stove is set up for propane or natural gas, you already know what we're after is this right here. This cap is pre-drilled for propane or natural gas, and it's the size of the hole at the tip that lets you know. Now, if you know you want to convert, which is why you're watching this video, all you have to do is unscrew this. Now, it really is just a bolt that screws in. This is a half inch wrench, and most are half inch, give or take an eighth. I've seen it, the sizes vary. And you can also tell this stove was restored not long ago. That's why it's turning so freely. Yours may require a little bit more muscle. Now, I'm going to show you what this looks like when I'm not inside a stove. You don't have to take off this entire piece. This screws into the gas line on the chambers. You don't need to take all this off because you're trying to find out now what's underneath it because you want to convert. Now, there are two common options. One is this. This is called a universal mixing pin. If you look at the tip, you see that tiny little hole at the tip? That is where, if this cap is screwed all the way down, only propane will come out. Propane needs a really tiny hole, remember? So if you screw this all the way down, only gas will come out of this, the gas will only come out of this tiny little hole. That's a perfect setting for propane. If you loosen it, more gas will flow out, not just at the tip, from around these fins as well. So if you've got a universal mixing pin in your chambers, you're going to have this cap screwed all the way down so that only that tiny little hole shows through the cap hole. And if you've got natural gas, you're gonna loosen it for optimal airflow. Now I'm gonna make another video about how to adjust your burners and that's going to be for natural gas. Natural gas on the chambers, you can you can change the airflow to suit your flame height and your color perfectly. On, um, uh, on propane, you have one setting for the cap and that's screwed all the way down. Now, here's another option. Now, this is also from a chamber C. And this, if you look at that tiny little hole in the tip of that cap, this is just set up for propane. Now, when we unscrew this, we see a different kind of jet. This is just a hollow pipe. The only thing restricting airflow or governing airflow is the cap. Now for this, if I want to change this stove from propane, which is what this cap is for, and use it on natural gas, I need to either replace the cap with uh, one that's drilled for natural gas or have the hole drilled if you don't know what you're doing, or if you're a machinist or handy with machining, you can drill the hole yourself look up the specs to make sure you get them exactly right. But it's all a matter of the cap. If you've got a universal mixing pin like this, you just screw it all the way down. Now on the chambers, remember, there are six different burners that need to be changed. The three stovetop burners, the thermal well, the broiler, and the oven. Now, remember our waterman from the video about how to tell? You know, look at how simple this design is, but they still have that same orifice cap. It's right here, but we know that this is uh, set to propane. It's a really tiny hole. So if we want to use this in natural gas, nothing else changes just the size of the hole. So we're either going to replace it with a cap that is drilled for natural gas, or we're going to take them off and have them drilled by somebody who knows exactly what they're doing because you don't want to mess it up. But if you know exactly what you're doing, you can set your drill to machine that hole to be the perfect setting for natural gas. Those are easy to look up. I'm not going to put them on this video because I don't want to encourage someone who is guessing to start messing with gas flow. But it helps a lot if you know it's actually really easy and very cost effective to switch between fuel types. So converting the fuel type for your stove really isn't all that complicated. If you've got a Magic Chef 1000, remember, 
where every one of your burners are. If you've got a, a chambers, rem remember to make sure that you hit every single one. You can't just do it on some and then switch. It's not going to go well. But whether your stove is as fancy as a 1950s chamber C or as simple as a, an early 30s waterman, converting a stove from propane to natural gas is not brain surgery. Just make sure you've got a good wrench, always have a good screwdriver nearby because it's a handy thing to have, and a little bit of time and you'll be fine. Thanks again to everyone who is subscribing and commenting and suggesting topics. This topic was brought to you by two people online who said, please, can you write it? Can you talk about this? Keep the ideas coming. If you have a question about vintage stoves, so do a lot of other people. So I'm happy to do a video about it. We're all in this together in the vintage stove world. So let's get cooking and thanks for watching.